Vaccines, cancer. Many vaccines have been developed to help the body fight foreign pathogens, but another type can help the body attack its own infected cells. In the fight against cancer, both types are employed. Certain preemptive vaccinations exist to combat types of cancer that result from viral infections, such as liver cancer and cervical cancer. The connection between virus and cancer was discovered by Nobel laureate Harald Zorhausen. If a tumor consists exclusively of the body's own defective cells, vaccination is highly complex. The main problems are the rapid rate at which affected cells can mutate and the difficulty of overcoming the body's own immunotolerance. So-called immunotolerance exists to prevent the body from attacking its own healthy cells. Tumors sometimes take advantage of this mechanism. One strategy is to produce and distribute cells that restrict the body's own defense mechanisms. This is one way that tumors can make themselves functionally invisible to the immune cells whose job it is to destroy them. Once the tolerance is built up, it's difficult to overcome it. New approaches in cancer treatment are working to address this phenomenon by attempting to turn the body's immune response back toward the tumor. Targeted disabling of the immune response suppression such that the body starts attacking the cancerous cells again is one method. For their findings in this area, immunologists James P. Allison and Tasuko Honjo were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 2018. New treatment types of both active and passive immunization offer hope in the future for better tolerated, more targeted treatments. But the immune system, like cancer, is extremely complex and potential side effects can be severe. Scientific progress still faces major challenges. Furthermore, customized diagnostics and treatment are raising far-reaching legal, economic and ethical questions. Remember, when I'm going to sequence your DNA or my DNA, I'm going not only to know about current situation, but I may be able to know about the future. And that we talked about it, this is something that uh, is not only dangerous because some other people may know about it, like the insurance company, the employer. Uh, it has family implications, it has psychological implications on the patient himself, and so on and so forth.